Well, the, the proof to, to prove the fact that there is contact with extraterrestrials is very difficult uh, because it autom automatically, no matter what you do, automatically sucks you into the realm of conspiracy. Okay, but now you've got to first explain that. You've got to go back and understand where the concept of conspiracy comes from. And, and that in itself becomes an interesting study because you realize that the word conspiracy should actually be turned on its head and, and, and renamed as truth because pretty much all the conspiracy theories that are going around today are based somewhere um, at their point of departure in what really happened. And, uh, and what really happened has been then very um, beautifully clad in disinformation that caused confusion and led to so-called conspiracy theories. If you look at some of the greatest discoveries in human history, just in the last hundred years, we've had Nikola Tesla and Royal Raymond Reif. I like to use those two because they're very, very important in, in human history because they deal with the two areas of human control, and that is energy and medicine or health. Nikola Tesla gave the world free energy. There's absolutely no doubt about that. There are reports from 1925 or 1935 when he drove his, when he built his Tesla Tower on Long Island um, that was funded by J.P. Morgan. Okay, J.P. Morgan is, by the way, one of the, probably one of the Illuminati, or was one of the Illuminati. And J.P. Morgan funded this because he believed he could make a lot of money out of this guy, Nikola Tesla, who had this solution for energy. And he was obviously he wanted to use that solution for energy to sell it to the rest of the world. When to his dismay and, and surprise, uh, very quickly he realized that Nikola Tesla actually found free energy, that you didn't need wires and you didn't need um, anything except um, people would just get energy for free wherever they were if they had a little antenna. He, he took a Cadillac, a convertible Cadillac, and he ripped the engine out and he replaced it with some black box thing that nobody knows what it is, and that is unfortunately become the conspiracy what was in that black box. And for about six weeks or so, he drove around Long Island with his convertible Cadillac, no petrol, nothing, with his antenna sticking out the back seat. Okay. Now, clearly, something was working with no wires and nothing. And Nikola Tesla, unfortunately, shortly after this, was discredited. Uh, J.P. Morgan suddenly realized that what Tesla was about to do is give everybody in the world free energy. He chopped down the Tesla Tower and pulled Nikola Tesla's funding, and Tesla died a pauper a couple of years later. All his information, these documents were confiscated and never to be seen again. Now, that information is obviously available to the people that confiscated those documents, but we will never see that until the energy companies decide that they need to do that in a moment of absolute desperation or never. 